Nanotechnology and Steel Steel is essential in modern buildings. Steel's main downside is fatigue. Exhaustion is one of the primary challenges that could contribute to the structural collapse of steel subjected to cyclic loading. Fatigue can develop at stresses below the steel yield stress, shortening its lifespan. Copper nanoparticles in steel reduce fatigue best. Copper nanoparticles smooth steel surface, reducing stress risers. Reduce steel stress risers reduce fatigue cracking. New steel can also weld and withstand corrosion. Nanotechnology also assisted steel welding. Welding strength matters. A weld's heat-affected zone can come apart without warning. Nanoparticles like magnesium and calcium can reduce this problem and provide reliable welds by fine-tuning plate steel grains in the heat-affected zone. Nanotechnology improves fire safety. Spray-on cementitious coatings are often utilized for this. Nanotechnology in glass wood and other areas. Both wood and glass are examples of materials that benefit from nanotechnology. Nanotubes and nanofibrils make up the bulk of wood's biomass, waste woody tissue, constituents and they're twice as strong as steel. The use of these nanofibrils would lead to a new paradigm in sustainable construction, because both their manufacturing and their deployment would be part of a renewable cycle. It has been suggested that self-sterilizing surfaces, internal self-repair and electrical lignocellulosic devices, could be made using these lignocellulosic. Glass manufacturing uses nanotechnology. Nanoparticle-sized titanium dioxide makes cleaning glass easier. Titanium dioxide collects rainfall and decomposes organic waste and pollutants. Nanotechnology treated glass resists flames. Sandwiching silica nanoparticles between glass panes makes this possible. Heat makes this coating flame resistant. Nanotechnology can improve pavement. Nanoscale materials can make roadways harder, more durable, and water and skid resistant. Hydrophobic Xeno 2 highways drain water faster and decrease hydroplaning. Nanotechnology purifies water. Reactive media filtration and water purification separation are two applications of nanotechnology. With the use of nanotechnology, we can recycle and desalinate seawater, reuse municipal wastewater, and filter other types of wastewater to make it drinkable. Cleaning dirty places using nanoparticles may create new compounds with environmental impacts. Innovative use of nanotechnology in civil engineer. Nanotechnology is a fast-evolving field that has the potential to renovate the way we develop and preserve infrastructure. Some innovative uses of nanotechnology in civil engineering include Self-healing materials Nanotechnology can be utilized to build self-healing materials that can repair cracks and damage in concrete and other construction materials. By embedding nanoparticles that can react with water and oxygen, the material can repair itself when it is damaged improving its durability and reducing maintenance costs. Smart coatings Nanotechnology can be utilized to build smart coatings that can detect and respond to changes in the environment. For example, a coating that contains nanoparticles that react to changes in temperature or humidity can help to regulate the internal temperature of buildings and lessen energy consumption. Nanoparticle Reinforced Concrete Adding nanoparticles to concrete can surely improve its strength and durability, making it more resilient to cracking and corrosion. Nanoparticles can also be used to diminish the amount of cement needed in concrete, which can reduce its carbon footprint. Nanosensors Nanotechnology can be utilized to build sensors that can detect structural damage and deterioration in buildings and infrastructure. These sensors can provide real-time data that can be used to monitor the health of structures and prevent failure. Water filtration Nanotechnology can be used to develop new materials for water filtration that can remove contaminants such as heavy metals and bacteria. These materials can be used in water filtration systems and can help to provide clean drinking water in areas where it is not readily available. Nanotechnology has the potential to revolutionize the field of civil engineering by improving the performance and sustainability of construction materials and infrastructure. By incorporating nanotechnology into the design and construction of high-rise buildings and infrastructure, we can create structures that are tougher, more durable, and more efficient. Conclusion Nanotechnology improves civil engineering. It has helped improve construction materials like concrete and steel, and solved many issues. Nanotechnology has made concrete more durable and efficient. 
Nanotechnology coatings improve fire corrosion and insulation. Nanotechnology could enhance water quality and supply. This area is crucial because nanotechnology will be used in civil engineering projects in the future. Given these developments in the building and environmental issues, nanotechnology should be included in civil engineering programs. Nanotechnology is vital to civil engineering's progress and advancement, but it won't make any substantial contributions unless it's taught to more people and all aspiring civil engineers. I hope this video provides you with a sound understanding of the use of nanotechnology in civil engineering. Please feel free to like, comment, and share.